my name is Ross Galloway. Uh, I'm the Director of Teaching for the School of Physics and Astronomy. The Computational Physics degree is a fully-fledged physics degree with all the um, theory and mathematics that you'd expect to be there, but it just highlights and puts a particular focus on the computational aspects so that students who follow this programme become particularly competent in coding up problems, analysing big data, building simulations, understanding output from very large experiments. But computational physics is really tailored to specifically looking at the overlap between computing and physics and how those work together in uh, contemporary physics. It's not just putting together two separate degrees. The core courses for computational physics are the same core physics courses that everyone is doing and also the mathematics for physics that you need in order to have those mathematical skills. But there are also additional courses in programming, computer simulation, computer modelling, data visualisation. There are a number of research opportunities uh, built into the programme. All students, whether on the bachelor's or integrated master's programme, will do at least one research project. And for those on the integrated master's MPhys, there's the big MPhys project in the final year, which is almost half of the full year. And all of these projects take place embedded within the research groups of the school. So you're working on real physics programmes, real physics problems that are at the forefront of the research there. There's also an opportunity to do summer internships, typically over the summer after the junior honours year and later. But again, allows you to really get into the heart of the research activity and see cutting edge problems and contribute in that way. Career prospects for computational physics graduate are very interesting because you have a numerate degree in physics but you also have a particular set of skills related to computers and programming. So what that means is that you've got all the software development skills, big data analysis skills that many people will have but crucially you've been studying these in a very specific context with a particular emphasis on problem solving. So you're particularly able to take um, a real world problem and work out how to apply computing problems to that. And so that's very good from an employability standpoint because you've got contextualised skills that you can then take into other areas and have the confidence that you can look at an original problem, a fresh problem and know what to do with it. In computational physics at Edinburgh, you've got a many decade long heritage in the ideas of applying large computing power and big data to physics problems. We've been doing it here since people first started doing it anywhere and so you're building on a really deep and wide expertise and knowledge in those areas. We host the uh, EPCC which is the Edinburgh Parallel um, Computing Centre and many of the physics faculty have been intrinsically engaged in these sorts of things for many years. So we bring a perspective of really deep engagement with modern computing problems but from the physics aspect. We are fortunate to be in one of the world's great cities. It's a UNESCO World Heritage City. It has many, many cultural activities. It's beautiful, it has amazing green spaces. You are very close to the highlands and the wilds of Scotland. So it's a wonderful environment in which to study as well as being an outstanding department.